uh, recently we have received many requests from for the security IPs. One of the application is in the metaverse. Let me take this opportunity to share with you how Puff plays an important role in metaverse. The metaverse is a hot topic, especially among today's generation of technology users. It can be defined as a virtual reality space in which user can interact with the computer-generated environment and other users. Essentially, it is the next phase of the internet. The metaverse is an immersive experience moving away from 2D into 3D, allow users to enter the artificial virtual world. Initially, the metaverse emerged as a concept in the game market. However, the metaverse has quickly evolved to include major tech companies alongside emerging innovators as the inhabitants building this new ecosystem. According to John Redock, an entrepreneur, author, and also game designer, the conceptual framework of the metaverse consists of seven tiers, starting from what the consumers will be experiencing to the backbone of the metaverse. The first layer is experience, where users engage the interact with the metaverse through games, social experiences, live music, and so on. The second layer is discovery. This is where people learn and discover and experience and where information shares occurs. The third layer is the creator economy. This includes everything aiding content creators to generate and monetize the metaverse, such as the design and the graphic tools, animation systems, and the financial technologies. The fourth layer is special computing, which refers to the software that merge virtual and augmented realities. In other words, allow us to digitize the physical world surrounding us. The fifth layer is decentralization, which refers to the absence of a single authority within the metaverse. This creates a more permissionless democratize structure and allow creator to retain ownership over their own data and products. The sixth layer is human interface, uh, which is the hardware that helps us access the metaverse, including gadget and the technologies like uh, biosensors and the spatial computing. And the seventh layer is the base layer, uh, is infrastructure. This is what uh, tie everything mentioned above together. It evolves material science, cloud computing, telecommunication, and the semiconductors all working efficiently and separately together in a network. Based on the uh, seven layers, uh, six core technology are needed to realize metaverse. For any activities that occur in the metaverse, whether a simple interaction with your friend or a shopping for property, it will consist of some, if not all, of the six core technologies. This includes blockchain interactivity, games, artificial intelligence, and the networks, and the, the Internet of Things. Each of these core technologies will require a security element. Digital access, such as NFTs, for example, exist on a blockchain to safeguard their ownership in a decentralized ledger. Identity protection, confidentiality, and authentication protect user identity on connected devices in the metaverse. And in the action, promote connected data and more. The metaverse has the potential of multiple universes, promoting communication, virtual access, virtual transaction, and more functions than we can imagine across these universes. However, for metaverse to operate, the fundamental need for security elements such as the root keys, encryption, decryption, authentication, and the confidentiality still holds true, no matter how many universes exist inside the metaverse. Without the proper security measures, attacks in the metaverse could result in the loss of one's wealth, or worse, result in physical harm. There have been instances of a cryptocurrency exchange being attacked where individuals have lost all of their crypto coins. In the case of metaverse, if an individual's identity is hacked, their properties and the digital asset can be taken away. 
Together, the seven layers create the metaverse ecosystem, and within the ecosystem are key players. For example, Discord and Nintendo are major companies that make up the experience layer. Facebook and Google are part of the discovery layer. Adobe and Unity supply tool in the creator economies layer. Google AI offers the programs for special computing. IBM and Ethereum enable decentralized. Microsoft and uh, Oculus create the human interfaces. And the Intel and the Qualcomm create the infrastructure that brings everything together. This is just a small sample of companies that have entered or are entering the metaverse space. Several of these uh, companies currently collaborate with eMemory directly and have incorporated it with, our, with our IPs into their design and products. These companies also need to protect their systems when it comes to security. Moreover, for those companies that we don't currently work with directly, our IP may be found in the infrastructure that still enable experiences in the metaverse. Since eMemory and the public security are collaborating with ARM in their new ARM v9 CPU architecture, which introduces confidential computing architecture as their method of securing data for the next decade. Our hardware rule of trust IP, PuffRT, will provide hardware security to the new generation of computing, potentially spanning across different security solutions in field, such as automotive device, infrastructure, and IoT, all of which are functional part, foundational part of the metaverse. Building of the seven layers described earlier, let's imagine a scenario that applies. Logging into metaverse alone requires special computing that allows the system to map out the space around you. A human interface such as your headset, display screen, and the haptic touch growth to experience the metaverse and the infrastructure such as system hardware and the software that builds the universe you are entering. Although it is a simple act of login, if the device such as the VR glasses is used to enter metaverse is hacked, the hacker can even damage the person's health, in this case their eyesight, which illegal operations such as high lamination. With path-based hardware security, the chip fingerprint of our VR glasses is now one of the kind and only you can access it. Similar scenario can be applied to more complicated experiences, such as a virtual gathering for a movie with your friends, or a work-related scenario, like a virtual meeting with your coworkers. In such case, you can imagine that the attacks will complicate further as there are more layers and the requirement for security. Whether in communication between users, authentication of identity, etc. The possibility of, for metaverse are endless, making the potential threats in the metaverse endless too. Pervasive data collection of users' private information, including personal information, behavior, location, habit, lifestyle, and the communication is already commonplace. Because of this, network credential theft, identity theft, and the ransom attack are just a few of many growing security concerns. Simple vulnerability in a device or with identity credential can potentially lead to user identity misuse. Cloud-based security enables to us to prepare for the threat of the metaverse by protecting user identity, data, and the privacy. So to do our part in protecting the future computing, eMemory is looking to achieve the following. First is the path. Uh, which most of you know is the acronym for physical and combable function is a physically defined chip fingerprint that serves as a unique identity for semiconductor and is a temporal proof. Puff digital fingerprint could help secure the metaverse in the same way by providing a unique and forgeable user identity and a credential for each individual entering the metaverse. Furthermore, e-memory's quantum tunneling technology creates the best path 
available on the market today. By using silicon variation during the manufacture process, puff can be used to generate keys. Keys are essential during the exchange of information in the metaverse because they are basis for encryption, decryption, and other security functions. This brings us to my next point. Our integrated security solution derives truly secret keys to protect identities, assets, and the transaction. Not only does PATH generate keys, but the, our PATH-based IP solution also utilizes e-memory's patented OTP technology to securely store these secret keys. PATH can also protect device firmware to ensure normal operation and avoid potential threat because it has a PATH-based hardware rule of trust, the basis of the secure OTP. Lastly, PATH-based NFT can uniquely identify any virtual object in the metaverse because of its indivisibility, irrepressible, and the unique characteristics. NFT can represent digital asset or identity. And these are all what I would like to share uh, for the very broad usage of PATH in the metaverse security. Thank you.